So this dish is a dish that mum would always make me to convince me to come home. Um, it's a pippi dish. It's so simple and only takes 10 minutes, but I'm obsessed with it. We've got some garlic that I'm just gonna roughly kind of chop slash bash. I don't want to cut it too fine. So the ends just come off. We're gonna squash it. Crush it. Crush it. All right, a little bit of veg oil straight into a wok. Garlic goes in. It's so simple, but it's so delicious. So it's one of those things that mum would literally make maybe like three kilos of it, and this is what we would have for dinner, just sitting together, giant bowl in front of us, and we just like pick at it. All right. Garlic's cooking away, looking absolutely gorgeous. We want to kind of get a little bit of color on it, but not too much because now it's time to get the pippies in. Beautiful. Chilies, rough chop. A little bit of chili goes in. I'm gonna save a little bit to end with. Some oyster sauce. Now, you don't have to add too much of this. A lot of people add heaps of it in, but it kind of hides the flavor of the pippies, like the natural sea waters and the saltiness that comes out of it. So a tiny bit will do. Let's give this a quick stir. This already smells incredible, but just to amp it up a little bit more, tiny bit of sugar, just a little bit, just to balance out the kind of natural seawater that comes out of the pippies. And then a little bit of Thai basil. This makes it, this actually is the reason why this dish ends up being so fragrant and so full of flavor, is this kind of Thai basil that goes in. I'm saving some of the tips as well, just to garnish with at the end. All right, let's give him a quick stir and a quick Toss. All right. Get it all mixed together now. Lid goes on. We're just gonna watch as the pippies kind of start to open up. And as they open, they release all of these beautiful seawater, all the juices that will just really help flavor the dish some more. So this has been covered for about three minutes now. It's already starting to open, which is exactly what I want. It will start to release all these beautiful juices. So if you look at the bottom, there's actually some of the juices running out of it. Really fun little fact about pippies is, if you're gonna pick them yourself or kind of forage for them, catch them yourself, you need to make sure that you submerge them in a bucket of water overnight, just so they purge and let go of all those um, salt granules that makes it quite gritty. This is looking really gorgeous. It's almost cooked, so what I do now is I add the last little bit of chili in just for a little bit of fresh chili flavor and a couple more of these leaves. I don't want to add all of it in, but I didn't want all the leaves to be fully wilted. That's looking absolutely gorgeous. Another 30 seconds and I reckon that's all good. When I made this on MasterChef, we, it was in a 10 minute challenge and we had five ingredients and I actually finished with two minutes to go and I spent the last two minutes picking individual pippies out to make sure that they were all opened and also picking individual pieces of the Thai basil tips because they're quite sweet. So that's to show how fast this dish actually is to make. All right, so I've got a serving dish here that I'm just gonna pour this directly into because it's no fuss, nothing, serve it as is. That's looking absolutely beautiful. Let's finish with a couple of these tips of the basil. The basil smell is coming through and it's like a little bit sweet, which is so beautiful. That's basically my pippy dish, it took about eight, nine minutes, six ingredients, really simple, really delicious, full of flavor. My mum's pippies. Try this at home for yourself. Mm -hmm.